Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today we're looking at some Montana state quarters. Montana was the 41st in the state quarter series which of course means it was the 41st state to join the Union. Essentially joined the Union together um, uh, or really closely with North Dakota, South Dakota. Uh, North Dakota November 2nd, 1889, South Dakota, November 2nd, 1889, Montana, November 8th, 1889, and Washington came in there too, Washington State, in November 11th, 1889. So within 10 days of November, four new states joined the Union in, 19, in 1889. Um, and Montana actually was brought up to join Union a little earlier and had passed a constitution earlier, but uh, due to some political issues in Washington, apparently, oddly enough, um, they waited on Montana for years before they actually um, let it come in, and they let it come in when they let the other states come in. Now, I want to show you some stuff on these quarters that's very kind of strange and people ask questions about. And this first one here is, this is from an uncirculated mint set, and it looks like it's got kind of black or kind of rubbed on here. Um, and this is a, a D uh, for the Denver Mint. So the Denver Mint in um, 2007 made 256 million of these. They also made some satin finish coins, and it turns out that this is a satin finish coin. This one over here, I'm just not sure what it is. Uh, it came with the same set. It doesn't have the same kind of dark stuff around the edges of it, but um, it's very yellow. And a number of uh, people have talked about these online, getting these kind of yellowed coins. And you can see that this is in really good shape. It has some scratches, the kind of kind that come from the mint. Um, we can see down here at the very bottom, um, the initials are on there. You know, they're very uh, well on there, the JF and the WC for John Flanagan and William Cousins. The P is really kind of nice. All the letters are nice. We tip it up on its side and we see copper nickel plated copper. And it actually is uh, kind of yellowish there too. And then we go on to the back, and the back is kind of yellowish, too. What some people online think is that this coin maybe was in some cardboard. Of some cardboard that they make, if you keep your stuff in some cardboard that isn't album-quality cardboard, that it has sulfur in it, and it gets onto some of these coins. Some people say it's just the start of the coin trying starting to age. But it's a, it's a huge difference if you look at these coins. So let's look at them. What's it say on the back? Montana... 1889, of course, that's when it came, became part of the Union. Big sky country here. If we look way down here on the side, we see a D and an E. And that's for Don Everhart. Uh, and Don Ever, Everhart um, engraved this uh, coin with the skull from the uh, American bison. Uh, it says big sky country here. We see the the trees in the Missouri River going through, and the mountains. It says 2007 E Pluribus Unum. So here's one color. Here's another one, which has kind of the satin finish. Here's another one that's kind of... Look at this one. This one is very yellow, too. You see this? Kind of... It's just hard to understand. These two are both from the Philadelphia Mint. Philadelphia Mint in 2007 made 257 million. Essentially, the Denver Mint made 256 plus, so they made about the same amount. What about some just regular coins? Well, this is just a regular coin. Came from our uh, change, Denver Mint coin, um, and it you know it's dirty, but it, it's also kind of it's still not even close. Uh, here's another Philadelphia regular mint coin. Just totally different color. Oh, so some people say, well, what is it like San Francisco mint coin? Nope. This is San Francisco mint coin, which is totally different because they actually polish it different. We see tip it up. This is the clad San Francisco. And of course, it's polished different on the back. And this is one of the best of the S coin reverses. 
and I don't know if Don Everhart thought about this when he was doing the reverse, but when you put the reverse on this um, San Francisco mint coin, you get just some beauty there as the kind of bison skull just pops right off the um, coin. And then here's another S, but this is the silver S. I'm not sure you can tell the difference, but I think these ones are a little yellower, but not this kind of yellow. They're a little yellower than the silver. We tip it up when you prove it's silver because we um, can't see any thing on the edge except for the 90% silver. So this is from a silver mint set. Um, they made uh, some silver mint sets in 2007. Uh, in fact, they made um, 875,000 of them that look like this, uh, the silver mint set. They made some uncirculated mint sets, which this came from here. And this came, both came from uncirculated mint sets. And so that's why I don't get the cardboard part, because they came from uncirculated mint sets. The uncirculated mint sets in 2007 had a satin finish. Now maybe this is something that happens once in a while with a satin finish. I'm just not sure. But and if anybody has any answers, please, please feel free to uh, send them in. How many uncirculated mint sets did they make in 2007? They made 895,000 and they had 28 coins in them. So if you can get the 2007 uncirculated mint set, the clad set, um, it's got 28 coins in it. And when I put these two together, you can see what I mean by the rim actually is a little yellower on this one than this one. So whatever happened to this coin, it happened to the whole coin, uh, it happened to the front, it happened to the back. And again, you got anything? Please send it in. Thanks from DC.